Yo, what is going on, y'all? It's your boy Perrier here to do the album review of the, the Big Homie, the Legend, the, the Goat, Mr. Usher Raymond. You know, he came out with, with his Hearts Love album. Finally, um, for me, I don't know about y'all, um, I've been waiting a long time for this album, the Hearts Love album, and it's uh, it's, it's kind of oxymoronic <laughs> because. This album is easy to love. <laughs> I mean, if you're a true Die Hard Usher fan, you're gonna feel right at home. He came back to his uh, R&B roots and soul roots, and you know he really delivered the new age sound. You know, the classic Usher, and um, going right into the album, you clearly see that in uh, Need You. With Need You, he kind of just delivered that Usher pure sound. He he delivered the the, the, the Usher and the, the MJ. Uh, reminiscent sound and it, it just it just really kind of grabs you in and um, I think he did an excellent job on that track um, for me it's easily one of my favorite tracks on the album um, easily again his vocals shine you know the way he's singing the verses is just it's just classic usher so you can't really hate on that um, going right down the list um, again one of my favorites uh, would be uh, yeah let me um, let me uh Again, a dope track, he did a sample of uh, Let Me Love You Down. And for me, it took a while to, to gravitate towards that track, but after listening to it so many times, he really did a good job. Uh, again, the verses, you know, no problem with those. Um, the, the chorus was excellent on that track, and um, it just kind of glides through, and he, he really delivers on that track. So it took a while, but uh, it's becoming one of my favorites as well now. Um, and actually, just jumping, rewinding, um, Missing You, again, he released this a few weeks back, but I love that track. He, again, he delivers that, um, that you know, new age sound. But then in the chorus, as everybody can tell, he kind of brings in that old school kind of vibe. And um, it's just an excellent track. He did an excellent job on it with his vocals, as usual. And, um, you know, can't handle it. So he had downtime. I love that track now. It's, uh, he had a lot of tracks, if you notice, that uh, for me anyway, it took me a bit to gravitate towards it. First listen to the album, I was like, okay, it's cool, cool. I'm waiting for that track to just to really get me because I think Need You spoiled me a little bit. It was so good, you know, I was waiting for another track to kind of grab me in the way that uh, Need You did on the first listen. Didn't, it didn't do that. Um, after a few listens and giving some time and, you know, and even, you know, watching some other reviews and uh, on YouTube and reading some other reviews on the web, just, come to an appreciation of the album itself you know it's, it's just a dope record crash of course which was a, a dope record i feel like that was a good good first single but again it's just like why is it not why is it not gravitating and i just don't understand why you know you got artists like usher that can release these dope records but um i feel like if another artist <laughs> another artist released this single then it, it may be a different story it may be higher up on the the billboards you know I just feel like, why, why is he not getting that, that, you know, that, that bump, you know, chart performance. So it's kind of um, interesting to see that. Another favorite of mine is uh, Make You a Believer. <laughs> I mean, I, this is another, you know, after maybe the second time running through the album, listening to Make You a Believer was like, yo, this is really dope. Again, Usher, he incorporates that new age sound, but he has those Usher uh, vocals. So it just worked out. He he delivered a, a dope track. And um, I just, it's one that I frequently just bump in my car at this point. You know, no problems uh, with that track at all. It's just instantly, you know, instantly grabs you, you know, just like me. So it's like for, for those two right now, they're just like kind of, they're battling for the top spot. You know, they're into the album. He, he Usher turn, seems to take a... a, a a switch or a, a, a turn and um, you know you get tracks like um, like uh, tell me now before I dive into the real turn that I'm talking about tell me as an absolute excellent record I think um, everybody can agree that this is usher at his best this is this is what makes usher usher tell me is that track you know it's a it's a beautiful you know love song and you know this just being intimate with your your lover and you know the, the lyrics in that track is excellent 
Um, his delivery vocally is not going to get that from, you know, Bryson Till. You're not going to get that from Chris Brown. You're not, you know, you might get that from Trey Song. Trey Song's a good vocalist, but Usher, he just has that way of of kind of showing why he's Usher. <laughs> you know, his vocals are just, you know, top notch on this. You really can't hit on it. It's a, it's a eight plus minute track and, you know, you don't really get bored of it, you know. It's not like a switch up, you know, <laughs> you're not going to hear three tracks in one like on a Drake track. This is going to be all the way through the, the same sound. The later songs on the album, you got uh, Hard to Love, Stronger, um, and Champions. Um, those tracks, again, it took me a long time to gravitate towards them. I, I made it to Hard to Love and Stronger. Those tracks are now, I can say that I like it now. And um, for me, the album altogether is just a very cohesive project. Um, again, Usher incorporates that new age sound with the the old Usher that we love. So, you know, he, he kind of stares away from the EDM, stares away, swerves on that pop, but he just delivers a focused effort that you really can't hate on. You know, this is easily only one of the best R&B albums to easily come out this year. And uh, if not in the next, in the last, two two plus years to me um he really delivers that that is out finally and he did a good job you know i hope that i'm actually doing this review in uh in wake of his projected um sales numbers he um he's projected to get about maybe twenty five thousand to thirty thousand sales first week um you know disappointing it is disappointing many will argue that oh well, you know usher's a legend and this that the third and he shouldn't be getting those numbers and it's true um, he shouldn't be getting those numbers. In the same breath, you can say that, you know, he's still, he's still Usher. Um, he's, you know, you can still ramp up on the, uh, the actual promotion of the um, album. And he, he might be okay. He might, you know, make some good sales. Um, but it is kind of disappointing. I think Usher put a lot of time and effort into his track. So to, to see those projections, it's kind of like, eh, how, why? But, you know, this is the, the fickle industry we live in. And um, artists like Usher, who, who is a legend, they're gonna be swerved on a little bit um, in favor of these pop artists or you know, these hip hop artists. So it is what it is. But you guys need to make sure you guys check it out. It's a good album, good album all the way through. And everybody will have an appreciation for it. And hey, Andre, what do y'all think? Y'all tell me in the comment section below. What do y'all think? Do y'all think it was a good album? Do you think, uh, what are your favorite tracks off the album? You know, let me know. And uh, hey, man, I appreciate y'all checking it out. Peace.